G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim. Hope you guys are doing well. In the previous episode, we have been exploring quite a bit more of the Mistlands with our new trusty, uh, fully upgraded Frostner. And I would have to say, it is actually doing us some good. So I'm going to try and keep using Frostner for a little bit more uh, and see if it produces more results. We have found this uh, infested mine. We are in the process of trying to clear it out. Uh, yeah, I initially wasn't even sure if this was an infested mine or not, but um, I initially thought it was some kind of a fort that had just simply been abandoned or taken over. But uh, in actual fact, right underneath it is the entrance to the mine. So yeah, kind of an interesting setup here. Um, we are having some difficulty with some of the tougher enemies inside, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get through uh, all that we need to get through underneath here. So let's continue. Uh, obviously keen on trying to find all the resources from this area. We have cleared a little bit of the area. Uh, I am still hearing a lot of buzzing noises and stuff like that. Um, definitely see that uh, we might have some problems in there. Maybe it might be a good idea not to open the door just yet. Um, and perhaps what we could do is we could uh, lure some of the other enemies in the area uh, so that we can sort of deal with them first uh, and then sort of just work things systematically, if that makes sense. All right, very good. Um, the problem with Frostner is we also haven't really been using clubs very often, so uh, we're probably not doing as much damage as we could uh, compared to, say, you know, using a sword. Oh God. Let's just pull back a tiny bit here and um, work from the safety of the entrance. I really wish we can get rid of this thing at the very top. It seems to be sort of blocking us from being able to jump into this uh, entryway. Alright, let's just recover that stamina. It's a bit of a slow recovery, isn't it? I'm actually having a think about what's going on here and I feel like maybe we want to give ourselves a bit of a rest. Try and get that buff. Uh, and then come back, that, that probably will help us quite a bit and not have to sort of pause too much. Especially in these tougher fights as well, so... Now aside from doing a little bit more exploring in the Mistlands, perhaps maybe we might call it uh, at the infested mine. It could take us a while to get through it. Uh, but I'm sort of thinking, you know, if we can do a little bit of that and then halfway through, perhaps maybe we want to shift focus and do something else. Um, I'm sort of thinking it's high time that we gather up uh, some more resins. So it uh, might be a good idea just to hang around the... Um, the Black Forests for a little bit, try to fight some of those uh, Grey Dwarves. Because yeah, we are finding that a lot of our sconces are going out, so I'm gonna actually need a lot of resin. Uh, alternatively, we could perhaps cut down a whole bunch of trees, get resin that way. That's also an option, we could convert a lot of wood into coal. Uh, it's not a bad idea. But yeah, gonna try and focus on trying uh, to get resins. So we, we just need a, a whole bunch of fuel for lighting. I'm gonna pull back a little bit.
that Seeker Soldier doesn't seem to want to move out of that room. Either it doesn't want to move out of the room or it can't fit. Uh, which is actually not a bad thing. Because uh, if it's stuck there, maybe we can just... Yeah, okay, that's not very effective though, is it? It could probably just be stuck because of these sort of vines. Oh god, alright, it's opened up some more pathways there. We'll just be a little bit more careful about how we approach things. Yeah, at least I haven't opened up the other side there. Very good. Very good, very good. Uh, still more Seekers. Guess they don't call this an, infer uh, an infestation for nothing. Okay, uh, things are starting to branch off quite a bit. I'm uh, getting a little bit confused as to what we should focus on. Maybe we can just take a peek in here. Haven't spotted more of the royal jelly just yet. Um, do we need heaps more though? It's very questionable. As we do have a stash at home already. And it's a decent stash. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I definitely don't want to go downstairs just yet. Probably leave that till later. Place can be a little bit confusing. Yeah, I guess this is definitely a pretty good opportunity for us to uh, level up our our club uh, club swinging ability. <laughs> okay, this connects back to the main hallway. Okay, another seal breaker fragment. This is another room over there. Let's just not worry about that right now. Uh, I think we can maybe start by opening this gate. Let's uh, just retreat a little bit. I have to also remember that we don't have bone mass available right now, so... You know, you just don't want to go too gung ho. We've got heaps of these guys. All right, and because they're sort of standing on top of each other, they could reach this area if they wanted to. Kind of frustrating.
Okay, we took heaps of damage there. <laughs> Just be a little bit careful. I'm wondering if maybe this would be a, a good situation where the spear would come in handy. Since it would have a little bit more reach. Yeah, I'm definitely playing with fire there. can't wait until we actually get better armor because I think the better armor is probably going to absorb a lot of that damage. Uh, I don't think our current armor is doing a very good job at doing that. Still even more. Open that up. And... Yeah, there's a couple more in here. Let's maybe retreat a little bit. Oh man, it is so frustrating that we keep getting pushed out of the mine. You know what, it's better than dying. <laughs> oh lord. Alright, let's just wait for our HP to recover a little bit. Okay. Really much better now. Hopefully there are not too many more Seekers in this area. I know we're probably going to have to deal with more downstairs. Oh my god. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> god. Right. Um... This might be a bit difficult to deal with. Purely because we've got the ticks just right there. Um, 
Hmm. I probably want to eat some decent foods before we even attempt trying to recover our stuff. So I think that's going to have to do it. Will I be able to to even get what we need here? I mean, very questionable. All right, so what I'm going to do is just wait till our HP has recovered. So the big problem for us is going to be the ticks latching on uh, and really like reducing our HP quite a bit. Um, because we're not going to have equipment either. Mm, if I run out with the ticks latched on, they will still be there as well uh, when I go outside. If I'm not mistaken, that's how it works. So, yeah, this, again, is going to be a bit of a challenge for us. Okay, let's, let's do it. Oh, okay. We have the opportunity here to just grab our stuff. Sweet, okay. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We'll chuck the wisp light on. And... Yeah, let's destroy these guys. Yeah, I bet it was that one... Oh god, it's a two-star tick. That's exactly why we had a problem. Alright, well, at least the problem wasn't so horrendous that we couldn't recover from it, so... I'm expecting at least another two-star tick or, you know, probably some kind of a a two-star, I don't know, seeker or maybe two-star seeker soldier down in the in the bottom. We do have some Seekers on that side. If I just try and go through here... Okay, we've got another Seal Breaker Fragment. So that's interesting. We've actually found two in this mine. Which gives me hope um, in terms of finding, hopefully, more than one Black Core. Just break that open. We'll run back. And just stay in the safety of the entrance way. If we can fight these guys one by one, that would be my preference. I'm just so used to relying on uh, enemies getting stunned by our attacks. That's how I sort of develop a little bit more confidence when dealing with any type of mob. Uh, okay, so we do have the option of shooting these uh, these things down, broodlings, 
but I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, the seeker meat, we've got too many pieces of seeker meat at the moment, so I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that. If I do need to drop something, that'll probably be it. It's interesting how these things didn't really pop up when I first came across them. Oh yes, then there's this little room here. Frostner is actually almost out of durability. So I just gotta be careful on that front. Okay, yeah, we do have a, a soldier there. Which seems to be getting stuck. That's okay. Happy with that. need to keep in mind that we've got the minor healing mead here just in case we need it okay Is uh, just a normal one. Okay, let's get it to follow us. It'll be easier dealing with it around here. Definitely having trouble trying to follow us. But this is also not an ideal spot to be fighting it in. Maybe, maybe right here. get ourselves uh, stuck either though, so... Okay, now let's see what's in that room. More broodlings. And even more pathways. I was not expecting the first floor to be so complex. Okay, 
not too much going on here. Okay, we've got a few Seekers. Just gonna lure them back. Okay, well, that wasn't very fruitful, but it's okay. Time to go to the uh, the lower levels. I'm just trying to remember how to get to the lower levels, though. Where was the, uh, the entrance? There it is. Okay, so from here, likely there are going to be tougher enemies down there. Uh, we do have a lot of stuff on us, though. Um, maybe it might not be a bad idea to just exit, go back home, stash stuff, come back, also just reset the, the rested buff as well. So let's just do that. I don't know, so far it's been pretty productive this episode. Um, I'm getting used to dealing with the Seekers. Um, the Infested Mines, if you sort of go in uh, blind and not really knowing much about the Infested Mines, I think it, you could probably have a bit more of a problem because you just simply don't know what you're doing. Um, but once you deal with it at least one time, I think, you know, it'll become a lot easier to deal with, uh, you know, and you just essentially have to plan uh, and make sure that you're not going to get overwhelmed because there are enemies everywhere in there. Um, I'm just going to stash that there as well. Yeah, we're getting too much stuff here, guys. I'm, I'm throwing excessive... Uh, items into the obliterator. It's not like we obliterate constantly, so we can always, you know, grab stuff that we actually need from it. Um, there we go. Alright, and then chitin. Chitin? Carapaces, yeah. Um, yeah, I have no idea what we're going to be using any of that for, but cores. Uh, I forget if we're keeping any cores stashed away. Yeah, we are. Okay. Good. We've got 19 minutes rested. That's good. We still have decent food buffs. So, I don't really know what we're going to be facing down in the lower levels. But considering we're probably going to spend half the episode, you know, collecting resin, as I mentioned, uh, it might not be a bad idea to just use bone mass right now and uh, deal with whatever this game's going to throw at us at this point. Yeah. There are a lot of these Seekers here. Okay, they kind of melt like butter by using the sword, which is nice. Uh, Frostner is good to just slow them down a little bit, but 
I'm not going to bother with more royal jelly, to be honest, guys. Um, I don't think there's a point to that. Uh, I am worried about running out of durability on stuff, though. I uh, forgot about fixing that. Tell me that we don't have any black cores in this mine. Because that would be very disappointing. Oh, we've got a Veg Vizier though. The Queen. The Queen is a, a bit further away, just, just a tad. <laughs> oh man. That's actually quite far. Uh, but I'm guessing all of this is going to be more mistlands, which means more opportunity for finding all of the stuff that we need. Um, I'm just a little bit annoyed that after all of that, we don't even get a, uh, a black core. Or am I, am I missing it? Is it somewhere? Somewhere to be seen? Around here? Yeah, I think we've seen everything. Damn it. Okay, I guess this mine was just here to give us that Veg Vizier. So we've got a little bit more of a direction to go to try and find where the boss spawn is going to be. Uh, we are nowhere near where we need to be to actually uh, start thinking about fighting any form of boss in the Mistlands, I don't think. So... Yeah, a bit more work to do. Right. Um, oh, I am getting lost. This way? Yes. Okay. Cool. I think we've seen everything in the mine here, guys. I'm going to cross it off. Uh, if you think that I've missed anything, let me know. But uh, yeah, we're done. Uh, am I going to continue exploring from this spot? I think the answer is yes. There's plenty more to see here, I feel. Uh, this could be maybe coming close to the end of the Mistlands in this particular uh, continent. Then we might have to sail further. I mean, we know there's a little bit more Mistlands over here. So perhaps maybe spending some time trying to uncover how big that Mistlands is, is in order soon. Um, and we'll try and work our way towards the general area of where the boss can spawn. Uh, my guess is that we'll find that there'll be a few more sp spawn points out here somewhere uh, to try and find the queen as well. Anyway, I um, feel like I'm blabbering on too much. Let's get ourselves back home. Yeah, we'll keep the portal here and we'll continue exploring from here when we do. Uh, come back to the Mistlands. Let's maybe unequip Wisp Light. We'll um, just stash a few extra bits and pieces here. We'll get everything repaired. That's also definitely something we need to do. But yeah, we are in desperate need of all of that resin right now. Um, got 22. I mean, that's a decent amount, but still... I feel like we could just go around the, the house and using up all of the resin right this moment if we wanted to. Um, I wonder if this is done. 
There we go. Major healing meads. Very nice. Uh, again, not sure when we're going to be using this, but I might carry one at the very least. And again, that could be our ticket out of jail, if you will, um, if we're in trouble. A few onions. We have space for, for onions. We do. Just throw that in there. I'll throw spare onions away. Uh, and Yggdrasil wood and wisps. I guess I should just stash that away for the time being. Don't really need to carry it all with me. Even the wisp light, I probably don't need that with me right this moment, but... Anyway, let's let's go in with Megan Jord. Uh, you know, I'm okay with carrying the wisp light, I guess. Um, I do want to maybe start off with just cutting down a whole bunch of trees. Getting some of our, um, our resins that way. Uh, actually, sorry, before we start on that, I'll actually fill up the sconces around the house. do we have eight okay, let's just keep going with these ones and yeah so we're out of resin now we should just cut down those trees and we should be good we'll, uh, we'll fight any gray dwarves that we see I was contemplating on maybe grabbing Ichthyr or something like that, but we still have another 10 minutes or so to wait for our power to return, so... Yeah, I don't need to stress too much about that. Um, I kind of wish that uh, there was a way for us to shorten the amount of time that we have to wait for our powers to recharge. I don't know if there is a way to do that like maybe a potion or something like that but all right i feel like i'm not finding a lot of resins here from cutting down trees maybe this is not the the best method I don't think it's uh, the best method at all, guys. Um, Alright, so... I'll try and make our way out into the Black Forests, I think. I know there's at least one... Uh, Grey Dwarf... Nest. relatively close by.
and for that I am actually gonna go to the stones and see if I can grab Ichthyr. We might be out there for a good eight minutes. Maybe. Maybe not. But if we are, then at the very least it's gonna help us uh, get home a little bit faster. Grab that, stash that away. What are we doing for food? Um, can I afford to be cheap on the food? Uh, and perhaps maybe only have like one of these and one of the mushroom omelets to keep us going. I think we probably can. Um, ideally, I guess we should have been using bread maybe. Bread is probably a little bit better for our stamina, but anyway. That's okay. Always make some more. Oh, okay, we've got a fen rig out here. I guess this guy was... Perhaps left behind. Uh, from... That, uh, that attack that we had recently. Been... Going to town on all of the wildlife in the area. Uh, might be a decent thing to hit all of the mushroom spawns as well. mushrooms. I don't know if I really marked down the, the position of the mushrooms in this area correctly because I don't really see anything. Maybe I'll get some wisp light going actually. Might help us light the way a little bit. Verdict is still out as to whether or not the Wisp Light actually attracts enemies or not. I know making loud noises does. So if you're, you know, mining copper or something like that out here, we have seen Grey Dwarves swarming in as a result or maybe even 
you know, trolls making their way. Uh, let's just mark this down as well, so... Nest. Alright, let's eat. And that should be good enough, I feel. Now, it is night, so... I'm sort of wondering whether or not the nests start spawning, like, tougher enemies at night, or if they just sort of spawn the same type of enemies over and over again. I guess maybe the night only dictates whether or not random enemy spawns are going to happen more often. Oh, that was a one star. That's decent. Oh, okay, we've got a portal here, apparently. Which I have, of course, totally forgot about. I don't know, guys. I feel like, in my opinion, there could be a better way that the game goes about giving you resin, you know? Like, I wish there was a, a thing that you could just simply craft on a tree to, you know, extract the, uh, the sap out of certain trees to give you resin. That would be cool. You know, and you just need to periodically check back to to collect uh, and so you can have like a bit of a resin farm going on if you wanted to I don't know just spitting out ideas guys oh, um, don't want this great worth destroying his own home Okay, um, I think I'll try and run to where the mushrooms might be. We might bump into more of the Grey Dwarves anyway, because it is night time. Yeah, a bit of a grindy episode, not gonna lie guys, because uh, I desperately need more of the, the resins right now. You know, maybe we haven't been away long enough. And that's why we're not seeing the mushrooms. That could explain it. Got some right here. Oh, got a troll. Yeah, okay. I, f I feel like if we hadn't had the wisp light on, the troll may not have noticed us. Got a trophy there. That I do care about.
the hides not so much. Okay, right. Might need to go with the Megan Jordanel and pick up more. I need to bring any more of this wood or the stones for example I mean hmm it's very very debatable Trying to look for more mushrooms, but I don't think uh, I don't think the game has spawned more just yet. even have one stack yet. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's get the troll moving over this side. I don't want to have the troll accidentally destroy the nest. There's a trophy there. I'll grab that. Cash and stuff as well. Let's get rid of that. I guess with one stack of wood, I could always, like, make that into coal. We'll definitely have a need for more coal, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think we are good to go back. And, uh, I guess once we do arrive home... It might be time to call it an episode. Yes, we have spent literally half this episode trying to look for resins. <laughs> but, you know what? I am sort of leaving the game as is, warts and all, because... 
you know, I mean, this is what the game is. It is pretty grindy. Um, I'm hoping the 50 resin that we've collected, or 56 or so, will last us for quite a bit. Now we won't need to do this again anytime soon. Hopefully, anyway. Um, it's just that I do have, uh, I guess, hopes to add even more uh, resin <laughs> and, um, oh, sorry, even more sconces and, and uh, torches. So we're going to probably be consuming even more resin down the track, unless I want to sort of change things up and perhaps maybe have, uh, like, I don't know, fire pits instead of uh, torches and stuff to light the way. That could be a, a good option. Uh, uh, actually, come to think of it, maybe we could change a lot of our lighting to to using these uh, wisp torches instead. But the wisp torches, they don't exactly look quite nice, do they? I mean, it's neither here nor there. I much prefer having actual fire to light things. Um, but yeah, it, it can be quite high maintenance. I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be any other form of lighting that we could get that might be suitable to replace all of this. Maybe we could get the braziers. We need Fenris Claws for those. Uh, you know what? Because this, I think this eats coal, right? Not wood. And that might not be a bad idea because the, the coals, they last much, much longer. Whereas any of these, they're just going to take resins. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Uh, we'll have a think about it. Because, you know, with the new dock, for example, there's definitely going to be a need for more lighting around there. And speaking of the dock, I think we do need to spend some time completing the dock. Um, I did express some concerns in previous episodes around whether or not uh, the dock is fit for purpose. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Let's just grab... Oh, actually, we don't have room in the inventory. Brute trophy. Let me just throw that there for the time being. how much more Great War of Eyes we need. Um, I think a long, long time ago, many, many episodes ago, someone was sort of saying, keep all the Great War of Eyes. And I figure that's because, uh, you know, along the line uh, or down the line, um, we had a need to make ice creams. But I think we've graduated from ice creams at this point, right? Like, do we really need more Grey Dwarf eyes? Uh, coins, we've got more wood. Got plenty of wood. You have stone? Plenty of stone. <laughs> oh lord. Let's just organize a little bit. Okay, 
decent, decent, uh, and throw that in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and do that thing that I mentioned, guys. I, I might want to just keep a little bit of wood here constantly, uh, so that if we need to bake stuff, there's not really going to be too much of an issue, and we'll be able to get a piece of wood into the oven immediately so that we can start the cooking process. Um, cash, we've got plenty of that. Yeah, so I'm thinking, guys, we, we should play around with what, what, with what we've got available here, the standing braziers. So we can make the blue ones. I, I don't know how I feel about making the blue ones, but the normal looking ones seem fine to me. <laughs> They've got the claws on the side. I don't I don't know if I really like that look. I guess it's okay. Um, we do need some bronze and coal to achieve that. I mean, coal is easy. Bronze, we do have a little bit, I suppose. That's not too bad. Uh, five bronze each, though. That's... Eh. Yeah, okay. We've got plenty of tin. We've got a bit of copper as well. We could make... Um, what, 10 bronze at this point? We'll be out of copper, though, after that. Well, maybe that's where all of that copper scrap comes into play that we managed to accidentally fetch from the Mistlands, but yeah, we'll have a think about that. Anyway, uh, I think this is where the op- uh, sorry, where the episode is going to end, guys. Uh, when we come back in the next one, I think we'll do a bit of uh, the same thing that we did this episode. We'll maybe go and do a bit of exploration for half of it. Uh, obviously, we're not finished with this area of the Mistlands. Plenty more to see, I think. So we're going to go head that way, see if we can uncover all of that. And then keep going, I would say, south. Um, so yeah, hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, and then, yeah, as I said, the other half will we'll do either building or, you know, foraging and stuff. Righto. Signing out. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Stay true.